clients stand for that teenagers should be sentenced to the death penalty. There are several states that allow the execution of juveniles for the commission of capital crimes. Some people say that they are too young for the death penalty and they would not even know what they did. However, people, regardless of age, know which is right and wrong to do. Should juveniles face different consequences compared to others for the same time? Guilty. And we will give several okay. basic reasons why society should not give death penalty to teenagers. It's pretty describing punishment which is contrary unacceptable due to the suffering, pain, and on humiliation in input on the command person. There is over 70% of United States citizens disagree with the putting teenagers to death penalty from the US Today newspaper, generally. And also, in research in University Har Harvard, they say prevent teenagers' brain brains are not fully developed and therefore should not be considered and compared with adult criminals. And also, criminals, teenage criminals, yes, you can't hold them prison right now. They can work in contribute ways victims to crime and then actually giving death penalty. Using criminals to recycle society and cause them to create good because society is much better than giving them death penalty. who are between the ages of 13 to 19. Until a few years ago, most people in the United States considered young people less dangerous than adults. Today, that perception is reversed. Young criminals are dangerous than adults. This is more dangerous. Today, that perception is reversed. There are currently 19 states that allow the execution of 16 and 17 year olds for the commission of capital crimes and 361 juveniles executed in the United States from 1642 to 2000. For example, Thomas Gronger, the first juvenile known to be executed in America, was found to be guilty for speciality in 1642 in Plymouth, Colony. Several states that allow this e execution for all juveniles since that ruling of 1988 are Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, South Carolina, and Texas. Furthermore, the U.S. Supreme Court has never made such a ruling for juvenile death penalty. The juvenile death penalty issue was last addressed in 1989 in the Stanford v. Kentucky case, in which the courts refused to re-examine this juvenile death penalty issue. <coughs> Sending teenage criminals to death penalty is an unmerciful and inhuman act. The Supreme Court has agreed this fall to reconsider whether executing people of, com of crime committed when they are only 16 or 17 is cruel and unusual punishment. According to a May 20, 2002 Gallup poll, 7 out of 10 Americans oppose the capital punishment for youthful offenders, USA Today. This fact has shown that most of the US citizens disagree to exactly with these teenagers. Not only citizens, some associations such as American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, the American Psychi Psychiatric Association, and the American Society of Adolescent Psychiatry recently issued statements opposing capital punishment for juveniles. www.penaltyinfo.org Furthermore, teenage brains have not developed and they should not be compared with the adult murderers. Recent neurological study at Harvard and UCLA Medical School has determined that frontal lobe portion of the brain, which governs the ability and decision making and considering long term consequences, does not fully develop oh, at the age 21. Yes, 13 to 19 inclusive notes know everything, Wikipedia. And I have one research for you guys to reconsider it again. Life skills in elementary school in the US. Being a respectful person, treat people the way we want to be treated, treat people to be civility and dignity, be sensitive to other people's feelings, 
they will insult people or make fun of them. This even in the uh, elementary school that they taught in the United States. 